Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Surveys, where we make our survey practices to be easier. From our last video on topographic survey, we showed us on how to plot the contours as we have it here using sofa. Alright, so if you are just joining us for the first time, do refer back to our video on that so that you can catch up with what we are doing. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe icon on this channel as well as hit on the notification bell to encourage and support us. So therefore in this video we are going to quickly show you on how to plot the spot height to superimpose it on this uh, map. Alright, so we are going to run that script from Excel. So if you are just new to this channel um you can refer back to our video on topographic survey hashtag one where we showed us on how to run scripts so therefore i have already run the code and i'm just going to insert the value inside each um, code so on this first in between of this first code we are having our x data which is the instance here is the nothings and here is the test size of the font size all right why here is the 90 degree the angle rotation okay and lastly from our last video i told us that the last uh, code here will be for the id point but for the case of this spot height we are going to be using the H um, data, which is the height data, all right, instead of the ID data. So here for the spot height, you are going to be using the um, height data for the last code. So here we go. Um, the next thing to do is to click on enter after you've run the code. Please, if you do not understand how we come about this, um, code on um, the test the the running of scripts please refer back to the video on topographic survey hashtag one you are going to learn on how to do that easily okay so here i'm going to run the script for this spot height for all of my data okay so therefore i'm going to copy and i'm going to go to my notepad to paste that okay so i'm going to save as a script file all right so click on all files and for this case i'm going to name it as data i spot data okay remember the extension is dot SCR small letter okay and I'm going to click on save then I'm going to close this then come to AutoCAD to run the script by going to manage run script then this is the S data here then I'm going to click on open so as you can see this is the spot height superimposed on it then I'm going to uncheck some of the layers so that we are going to see that carefully, all right, without any much data on it. I'm just going to leave the boundary. I'm going to leave the boundary line, all right, and the detail, okay. And um, this is just the spot height, so. Therefore, don't forget for spot height, there is going to be a particular symbol or a film asterisk, just like a cross or multiply sign, depending on the one that suits you. So, I'm going to hold this, this line, and I'm going to just make an asterisk sign or a multiply sign. I'm just trying to design this manually, okay? So I'm going to own my old snap again to move this 
to the exact point. So I am going to multi produce the asterisk um, symbol. Okay, I'm going to copy selection. And I'm just going to keep pasting it at each at each spotlight location. All right, so that is how I'm going to do it. All of them together. So therefore, that is how you are going to asterisk them and make sure they are in brown. Okay. So that is how to plot the spot height. For some major reasons, the buildings are expected to be hashed. So to hash that, you come to hash here. Okay. Click on the hash. You are going to see different options of hashing a building okay so in case yours is on solid you are going to click on pattern all right click on pattern then you will see different particular hashtag uh, options hashing option just to check the one that suits you but here we are going to be using this one here so when you click on it as you can see the moment you are in a polygon feature it will be hashed then you will now click on it so that is how to hash the building so therefore you are going to hash this as well then you click on enter on your keyboard all right so that is how to hash the building so if you have a name for this building you can still name it by going to test all right then you are going to label the building if you have the name of the building right but in this case we are just going to leave it blank so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as hit on the notification bell to support and encourage us in the next video we are going to show you on how to scale the plan as well as come up with the legend and every other um, features on the plan so thank you for watching see you next time